Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 152 alongside Kyle Noak, who just defeated Charlie Brenneman. And Kyle, obviously, somewhat of a controversial ending there. Do you think the ref made the right call to stop it when he did? Um, you know, I can't really comment on it. Um, you know, Charlie's head went down when I hit him, so I couldn't see his face, I couldn't see his reaction. You know, it's my job just to keep punching until the ref stops it, and he did. And, uh, you know, I, I can't make any comments about it. Were you surprised when he stopped it? I was surprised. You know, I, I thought Charlie would, would push through it and um, keep fighting, but he didn't. So, uh, you know, I was surprised when the ref stopped it. When you were game planning and sort of envisioning how this fight would play out, did you think it would end that quickly? No, you know, I always prepare for a three-round war, you know, but, um, yeah, that's what we worked on was to, to drop low and throw our right hand and hopefully connect, and it did. So, um, you know, I was listening to my coaches for once and doing what they said. What's the feeling that you're experiencing right now? Because, uh, you know, your UFC welterweight debut, very quick. I'm sure you had a lot more gas in the tank, so to speak. Are you happy that it's over quickly, or would you rather it be a little more decisive in terms of the ending? Um, you know, I'm happy with the win. I'm not going to say that, you know, I wish it went further, but... Uh, you know, I, I worked hard. What ended up being a, a short notice fight on like four or five weeks ended up being a long notice fight on 10 weeks or more. So, um, you know, I felt in the best condition of my life and I was prepared to go three rounds. You know, um, I, I trained with John Jones and I done everything he'd done getting ready for a five round fight. So, you know, I was in the best condition of my life and I was ready to, to go the hard three rounds. So was the cancellation of UFC 151 almost like a blessing for you because it gave you more time to prepare? Absolutely, you know, it gave me more time to work on his strengths and uh, defend takedowns a lot more and um, it ended up being a blessing in disguise. And how'd you feel out there? UFC welterweight debut, uh, the cut from 185, how'd your body feel on weigh-in day and here tonight? Body felt great, you know, uh, I used to fight at 170 back in Australia, so um, for me I just got comfortable fighting at 185 and didn't get back down until recently, so uh, I felt great, my body felt good, and I ended up bouncing back up to what I was when I was fighting at 185. When I re rehydrated, I'm back up to the same weight I was back then. So, you know, I'm up over 190, so I'm happy with it. And considering how quickly this fight uh, ended, would you like to get back in there maybe another time this year? Absolutely. I want to fight before the end of the year, you know. Um, I heard they're going back to Australia at That's the end right. of the year, so uh, please, Dana White and Joseph will put me on that card. Uh, anyone in particular you'd like to fight there? Um, I don't care. I'll fight anyone. Um, right. It doesn't bother me. Well, congratulations on the big win. Thank you. I appreciate it.